Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today we have a project pan introduction. This is for Clue Special Panning Edition Round 2. And I'm so excited. We did the round one one year ago and I I think I solved my murder mystery in the beginning of the year somewhere there it took me a while i had to eliminate everything basically to figure out who murdered mr body and unfortunately mr body has been murdered again so we need to figure out who did it with what weapon and in what room so this amazing project is created by stephanie l for the fantastic ladies and it is based on the board game clue or movies that was made from the board game and uh, yeah everyone has their own murder mystery to solve and we solve it by panning products so we have suspects weapons and rooms and we can work on three from each category at a time and we roll two dice to see how many times we need to use every product to then be able to use it as a guess at like each month. So let's see what I have for this round. Stephanie has like adjusted or changed some of the prompts a bit so it is fresh from the last round and if you want to participate please do you do need to go to the Fantastic Ladies Facebook Facebook group to every month submit your um, guesses for the murderer uh, so that Stephanie can then answer us all there. But yeah, this is so fun. So fun. And I, this is, this came in a good spot for me because I have been well i've been super tired and also busy and just like health wise not doing great and i haven't been wearing makeup i haven't filmed every video i should have filmed because i haven't been wearing much makeup it feels like uh, what, what it's just um yeah so this kind of gets me going because i need to solve the mystery and in order to do that i need to hit my goals every month so this really motivates me so i hope this will get me back on track obviously summer i'm gonna be wearing less makeup so we'll see but let's go let's go first for the three suspects i chose for first month color a mustard so something yellow and i was like where is my yellow because obviously this is not yellow but this highlighter is kind of yellow this is just an elf duo highlighter that i just got for free with my order and it's like a pale yellow gold i think that counts so there is a huge pan i'm trying to finish it because this one doesn't really work with my skin tone so if i get this done i can get rid of the whole thing uh, I don't mind. I mean, it's nice highlighter. I don't mind it. And it goes well with all the these types of eye looks I need to do with my Panda palette. But uh, the dice decided six uses for this one, so it shouldn't be too hard to do in a month. So let's hope I can do that. Then, Mr. Green. Something green. And this guy's back. So, the last... <laughs> Uh, round I also used this for the colors because we have green blue and purple although I did finish the blue which was really exciting and you just pick what color you want to use and then it comes up and uh, no way of knowing how much product is in here so panning wise it's not the most exciting but because this is based on uses it like it's perfect for that and also I will say it now so that it's on record 
that this is how I planned it. If in the middle of the month I finish the color without hitting my goal, I'm gonna count it done and not find anything else to use for that month. So if I roll 10 uses and I only get five, I'm gonna count that as a success because what is better than being able to finish something? So I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna say it now so I don't have to say it like, yeah, I only hit five, but I decided that it's done. No, I decided beforehand, so. <laughs> Okay, so for Mr. Green, obviously, we're gonna go with the green. It's It has a little bit of sparkle and it's kind of a bit chrome blue, so we'll see. Um, but yeah. And I heard that I said six times for this one as well. Continuing. Professor Plum, something purple. We are gonna go with the purple. And there they are. Um, kids. Same explanation. I want it gone. It's super old, so yeah, same thing. Also, <laughs> six uses, and this time I actually did use actual dice because I now have them. Previously, I used a number generator, but yeah, just different combinations, all adding up to six for the suspects. So twelve uses for this pen in total I think I could do it but I need to be wearing makeup so there is my my uh, motivator and now I don't know where I put one of my items here it is okay moving on to weapons I chose candlestick a lackluster product and I'm sad to say that this one is that for me this is the Woma Beauty Walk concealer stay woke concealer and I have the shade white pearl t0.5 it's just meh I love 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 the foundation but for some reason the concealer it's just I don't know if it's the very light shades I've been suspecting this with some other very light concealers that there's just not enough pigment to make up the coverage I don't know maybe if you have this in a deeper shade you can tell me if you feel like there is a good coverage because I don't think this I don't even have like super dark bags and I think it still doesn't really hide them but as you can see I've gotten some tan and I burned myself a bit and I have nice lines and my coloring is like all over the place I can, if needed, lighten my foundation if I'm like, oh, oh, this is looking a bit dark. <laughs> Let's rescue the situation. So, nine uses for this concealer. Hopefully I can, hopefully I can do that. We'll see. <laughs> then, the next weapon is knife. A product you need to sharpen. And this is a bit of a boring one because I don't really have that much that need to be sharpened. All the other I others I have are like lip liners that are really dark or bright. And I'm just not feeling lip liners. And especially having lip liner and then need to use it 12 times. I'm not doing that to myself. So the only other option is just a black eyeliner. This is just from Catrice. Yes. Call Kayal. Waterproof. Just a basic black. And I need to use this one only five times. So that will happen for sure. No problems. Because even though if I'm not wearing any other makeup, I can put on mascara and a little bit of eyeliner and be good to go. So no problem at all. Then I chose wrench and that is something broken. This is a Lumine luminous pressed powder that I ordered online thinking that it is a... Just a face powder matte face powder 
no luminous powder it, it is shimmery and it is broken yeah it comes out so i chose this one and this is just i just use it to blend things and kind of put some color it has some color like on my neck especially if I do have one SPF product that leaves a white, white cast so obviously on my face I put stuff on it to hide it but then my neck kind of looks too pale so then I put this one there some uses for this one if I wear makeup not an issue at all because I can use it every time or I could use it even if I'm not wearing makeup, if I do wear that SPF that even on my pale ass skin has a white cast, then I could do a little, you know. Okay, moving on. Conservatory. A product in a packaging you will recycle or reuse. And you have seen this a lot if you watched my other project pans, because, yeah, it is an egg palette that I tried to pan a couple years ago i have finished some of the shades and then i've pressed a lot of the stuff in it so i will i will kind of this has become my where i just repress things that i use every day like my brow powder my brow bone highlighter my inner corner highlights like an eyeshadow setting shade stuff like that i just press here because it sits on my table vanity and it's like all in one that I use every eye look basically so for this project we're gonna focus on this guy because I would like to have pan in there and it is in a corner shade I'm using today and it goes well with like the brownie brownie thingies that I have the white or like cooler tone looks but yeah this it has a huge dip already because I use a very tiny inner corner brush but heating pan is not the goal for this project even though I would like to have pan here the goal for this one is to use it eight times so I think that should be manageable even though I just said in my pan that palette update that I'm gonna focus on purple so I guess I really need to wear makeup to hit the eight uses Maybe I wasn't thinking this through, but I mean, I don't have to hit all my goals every month. I do have that mindset when I start doing something that I need to do it fully. I think a lot of you know what I mean. <laughs> so maybe I can just chill. It's, it's not the end of the world if I don't hit all of my goals. So let's use it as a motivation, not like a whip on my back, you know, <laughs> so, okay then haul a product that feels like an extra step to use eye cream i have never bought an eye cream just by itself i've this one also came in a set where i wanted the other stuff and i was like oh my hey i might just use well like use the eye cream as well and luckily, I do like this eye cream. This is the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I do like it. But it's an extra step. I can use it evening and morning. Uh, I don't know if it helps reduce the appearance of tired eyes. Maybe it does. At least it doesn't do anything bad. And I feel like... I feel like I should also go nicely on top of it, so... It is a good eye cream if you like eye creams. I don't know if it does anything other than what I usually was doing, like with just putting hyaluronic acid and oils around my eyes as well, and then moisturizer. But I do have it, and I've used it like 200 times already, and there's, I mean, there is some air as well. I should probably squeeze it out. But again, finish, finishing this thingy is not the goal for this project 12 uses is so the dice was very nice for me to put 12 uses for this product 
that I could use every day. Some days twice, I don't use it when I do like retinol or anything like that because I don't know how the caffeine. I'm just being careful. So, but anyway, at least every morning I could use it. So, 12 times will not be an issue. But I also do need the motivator to use this because sometimes I go, <laughs> it is an extra step. So, last one, I promise uh lounge a home spa product and for this i did something a bit different i have here all of my masks because home spa it was like yeah i need to put mask in that because i am really bad at masking but then using one mask possibly 12 times in a row didn't seem to, I don't know, appealing. So I decided to put all of my masks in. I have four from a little elf set here. Fifth one is in my project, not throw by 30, but I have like an exfoliating one, mattifying, hydrating, and then this peel off thingy that is a bit funny, but I guess it does something. And then this one is actually in my outdoor door in 24 project that i'm trying to finish it's an overnight hydrating mask i have used it uh, overnight kind of very lightly i don't like to like i don't like the idea of an overnight mask but i was like maybe i can use kind of as a moisturizer like just lightly but then i've also tried it like put a nice thick layer on my face and then wipe it off as a just a treatment mask so if i do that it counts as a mask here if i do it like the overnight kind of just night cream type thingy it won't count in this project because i just it needs to be the masking experience that i do in here so it so happened that i have five <laughs> masks that i can't hold up and i need to use them five times so i'm not telling myself that i need to use all of them once i might do this one twice and then do three of these or whatever but obviously this is kind of my priority for this year but any of these just mask five times that's gonna be my goal for this prompt because i have been very bad in masking so that is my nine items and hopefully next time we would have at least two guesses because that is the fun part of this project and it is also a lot of work from stephanie so thank you again for doing this this is just this is so much fun so much fun and like i said it just motivates me on a different level than just this year-long projects or like it's no biggie if i don't use something that's like i need to get them done so i can make my guesses so yeah it's amazing a lot of fun jumping jump in if you want to you can do it on instagram or youtube or just by yourself doesn't matter just make sure that stephanie knows so that you get your own result or murder mystery or whatever um but yeah thank you so much for watching i'm gonna stop rambling about and uh yeah i hope to see you next time bye